Welcome to the Getting Started presentation for age 11 to 13. You have made an excellent academic decision for your child by choosing Moving Beyond the Pages, rigorous and engaging program. This presentation will help you make the most of this school year. It is loaded with information that will be extremely useful for a new user of Moving Beyond the Page. Moving Beyond the Page will provide you and your child with an engaging educational experience, encouraging critical thinking and creativity. This may be why you chose Moving Beyond the Page to begin with, but now that your living room has 73 books and manipulatives spread around the floor, you may be wondering how to get started. Moving Beyond the Page is different than a traditional program, but it is very easy to implement and is flexible to work around your schedule once you understand how it is structured. We are going to walk you through organizing your books and curriculum, give you an overview of how the curriculum is structured, and provide tips on how to plan your year and your individual days with Moving Beyond the Page. The age 11 to 13 level is one year of academic instruction. The year is divided into two semesters. Each of the semesters is comprised of five science units, five social studies units, and five language arts units. Each unit has about 10 lessons and a final project. That may sound like a lot to keep track of, but all you need to know is this. Do three lessons each day. One lesson from science, one from social studies, and one lesson from language arts. If you have been using Moving Beyond the Page in the past, you will notice that in our middle school levels, we expect children to work from all three subject areas each day instead of just two. We have also balanced the curriculum at this level, giving science, social studies, and language arts all an equal billing. At the beginning of the year, you will start with three different units, one for science, social studies, and language arts. When you finish the first three unit ones, then you move on to unit twos, and so on. There is no calendar of days that you have to check. Each day, you simply move on to the next lesson. If your child is sick or if you go on a field trip, you just pick up where you left off. It is very simple and flexible. If you do this, you will finish the age 11 to 13 level in one academic year. Occasionally, you will come upon a lesson that is designated as a two-day lesson. When you do, there is a marker in the lesson that tells you where to stop and pick back up the next day. Now that you know how the curriculum is structured, let's get back to that pile of 73 books and manipulatives spread around your living room floor. Each of the two semesters has five science units, five social studies units, and five language arts units, some required literature, and some manipulatives. You may want to take a few minutes and organize your books by semester. To do this, you can either use your packing slip or the age 11 to 13 at a glance link at www.movingbeyondthepage.com slash getting started. Either of these methods will show a list of the semesters and how the units tie in together and the literature that is included in each one. Now that you have your year of curriculum organized, we are ready to look a bit deeper at the curriculum itself. In the first semester, there are three units labeled as Unit 1, one for Science, one for Social Studies, and one for Language Arts. These three units of Science, Social Studies, and Language Arts comprise your first three and a half weeks or so of curriculum. Remember that you just do three lessons each day, one in science, one in social studies, and one in language arts. Moving Beyond the Page is the only curriculum available anywhere that lines up science and social studies topics with language arts from the beginning of elementary through the end of middle school. This will help your child to see connections in the world around him instead of seeing subjects in isolation. You can refer to the age 11 to 13 at a glance page mentioned earlier for a complete list of how the units in this level line up together. Now we are going to switch gears and look at the lessons themselves. To do this, we will look primarily at the literature unit called the Pearl. If you are using the online curriculum, you can also follow along. Just select and activate the first language arts unit called the Pearl. Everything that we will be looking at in the hard copy version is also available to you in the online version. And one more thing, if you ever need more time with an online unit, please let us know and we will reset your activation for you. Let's start by looking at the table of contents. Each unit is about three and a half weeks long. This unit has 10 lessons and a final project. Notice that some of the lessons are labeled as two or even three day lessons. Curriculum at this level is student directed and this means that the primary curriculum is written for your student to be able to follow along and direct his own day. You should always be available as a resource but you should not have to teach the lessons to your student. If this is your child's first experience with a student directed curriculum, don't expect them to be independent on day one. It may take a few weeks before he gets the routine down. Notice on the table of contents that there is a parent overview section that contains an overview of each lesson. The parent overview sections provide you with descriptions of each activity, answer keys, and suggestions for further exploration. If you are using the online version of the curriculum, you can just click the link that says Turn On for the parent overview. 
This will cause the parent overview sections to display within the lessons as you view them. If you have more than one computer, iPad, or smartphone, you can turn the parent overview on for your computer and leave it off for your child's computer. If you and your child use the same computer, however, you will have to remember to turn it off when you are finished. Before you start a unit, you should check the required books and materials page to make sure that you have access to all the materials needed for the next three weeks. Many families find that it is helpful to keep a box or crate with all the materials gathered for the unit in one place. This saves you from having to take time each day or even during a lesson to gather materials. Most items can be found in common stores like Walmart or a craft store. If you are using the online version of the curriculum, you should also download and print the student activity pages and reading and questions pages for the unit. If you do this from the table of contents page, you will have all of the pages that you need for the three week unit ready to go before you get started. If you need individual student activity pages later, you can print them from within the unit. Each lesson is presented in an easy to use format with a student plan and a parent overview. You should review the parent overview section each day before your child begins the lesson. Each student plan opens with an introduction that will get your child started on the day. After the introduction section is a materials list that shows the student activity pages that are needed as well as general materials. Since you already gathered these materials before starting the unit, your child should have quick and easy access to these items. In the age 11 to 13 level, your child will keep a language arts journal throughout the year. The journal is simply a notebook that your child will be instructed to write in. Ideas to think about are questions related to the concept and ideas in each unit. These are not questions that your child needs to answer each morning, but they are conceptual understandings that your child will gain through the lesson. The lesson will help your child to explore and answer these big questions so that her understanding of the concept is reinforced. The things to know section should be thought of as memory work. This section will outline the knowledge and vocabulary that your child will learn or memorize in the curriculum. Each unit has a review sheet that summarizes the things to know. This should be used as a quick daily review. Activities and reading and questions are the primary component of moving beyond the page lessons. Most lessons include two to three activities for your child to engage in. Some activities include activity pages from the student activity book, while others involve hands-on learning experiences, such as creating posters, conducting science experiments, using math manipulatives, or acting something out. Some activities have options. These are called differentiated activities, and they let you tailor your child's experience to either his academic ability or his personal interest. Moving Beyond the Page is a literature-based curriculum, so there are a number of reading and questions assignments. The language arts curriculum will include a reading and questions section almost every day. This section will outline the day's reading and then ask some questions related to the reading. Some of the questions will be reading comprehension questions, but others are designed to help your child think critically about the text, determine a character's motive, or think of an alternative solution to a problem. Our goal is for children to become strong readers and critical thinkers. Since this is a student-directed curriculum, the reading and question sections are in line with the curriculum. We didn't want children to have to look all over a book for these pages. The structure is simple and easy to follow. Your child can just write his answer directly in the book. The lesson will end with a conclusion that often involves summarizing ideas presented in the lesson and asking your child to explain what he has learned. Now that you are familiar with the structure of the curriculum and the structure of the lessons themselves, let's take a look at what a typical day might look like. You will spend about three to three and a half hours implementing Moving Beyond the Page each day. It is a good idea to begin or end with about 10 minutes of review using the review sheet available with your curriculum or available as a download on our website at www.movingbeyondthepage.com slash getting started. Moving Beyond the Page covers science, social studies, and language arts, so you will also need a separate math program as well. Don't be surprised if it takes a few weeks or even up to a month for your child to get used to a student-directed curriculum. After the first unit, or maybe two, he should have the process figured out and will probably begin to appreciate the autonomy he will receive with a student-directed curriculum. Moving Beyond the Page will give you the framework for a fabulous year of learning. We hope that your child learns a lot, grows as a thinker and a creator, and has a lot of fun in the process. If we can be of any help, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Happy homeschooling!